to me, there's so much unknown. Like I said, we're, we're, we're all guessing as far as does Russ want to be here? Do they want him there? Do the players, do they collide, do this? All I know is he's on the team right now. Yes. And, and, and they're going to have to figure it out. But I think they can figure it out. I think the key to this team, obviously, outside LeBron's greatness is Anthony Davis's availability. But I think second is, and, and normally when you go to a team with a superstar such as LeBron, everyone else has to kind of change their game to right. make it fit him. I think this may be the one rare occasion where LeBron might have to sacrifice a little bit to get the most out of Russ because I think what LeBron did the past two years is LeBron showed us that he can get it from anywhere now. We never seen LeBron post up as much as he's post up and right. he's a monster on the block. Right. Whether it's whether it's pinch post or post, we've never seen him be a screener and be a dynamic roller and dunk on people. And right. he showed he can do that. We also showed that he can pick and pop now and get the ball to the second side and make action come. So with LeBron showing us that he has more, which, which I didn't think there could be any more to his fucking package, <laughs> but there is more. Bron showed us he can get the ball and get it whenever he wants. So I think with, with that said, I think Bron may have to take a small step back to allow Russ to be Russ because you think, you know, you get older, you're gonna, you, your game is going to change a little bit, you're going to find a way. I think Russ is going to be Russ, and I think what makes him great sometimes is his downfall. But I, one thing I do know is you can't put Russell Westbrook in the corner. No. He's always had the ball in his hands. So we all know the Lakers are at their best with Bron has the ball in his hands. But I think that what could happen is allow Russ to have the ball in his hands the first two and a half quarters to really get a feel. You know, obviously, Bron's going to have it sometimes there. AD will have it sometimes there. But allowing Russ to get his rhythm so by the time LeBron takes over at the middle of the third quarter and the fourth quarter, when he has the ball in his hand majority of the time, Russ is already in rhythm. Right. Most of the time, like I said, they put Russ in the corner and make him crash the glass. Like, that's not – you're not you're not utilizing him to the best of his ability. So – I'm a firm believer in, you know, as great as LeBron is, if LeBron can take a small step back to allow Russ to take a step forward, I think that's something they'll figure out. But I also think that great players always find a way to make it work, and they just haven't had enough time together. We broke it down last year. Like, when they both didn't play, I think Russ still averaged like 25, 9, and 9. Mm -hmm. You know, and when, when it was just him and AD, he averaged in the 20s. And then when LeBron was in there, it was only down to 16. So I say all that to say, like, obviously we know how great LeBron is at the end of this year will be the number one scorer all time, and he's top 10 in assists. So we know his greatness, but I think Braun is also smart enough to know that, you know, for us to win, first of all, we need 80's ass on the court, but we're going to need something out of Russ. So let me figure out a way I can get Russ more involved and get Russ feeling comfortable enough to be himself because we're going to need him. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.